Hi, I'm Brian of Boys Love and Pageantry and we are here right now with Mr. International Philippines 2023 Cavite City. So just for the record, can you mention your name and a little bit something about you? Okay, so hi guys, my name is Kenneth Aniban. I'm 22 years old, proudly representing the city of Cavite. Uh, fun fact about me, I am a second year student in the uh, BSITTM course in the University of Lyceum of the Philippines, Manila. So, yeah. Okay, I've, I saw you mga two months ago na, nung press presentation. Kamusta ka? How's your mental health? How are you? Uh, sobrang goods naman siya. Uh, it's not my first time in a national stage. This is already my third time. So parang it's very nostalgic talaga. Parang bumabalik lahat ng memoria for me. And I'm just enjoying it because if you don't enjoy it, then why join, di ba? So sa akin naman, I just enjoy it. Prepared as much as possible para pagdating ng finals night, I can snag one of the crown or the top crown, which is Mr. International Village. So you mentioned about Preparation. So, ano yung mga preparations ang ginagawa mo? For me, three things. The first thing is training in the gym. That's the most important thing. Second of all is diet. Because training on itself cannot give you a, a good diet. And lastly is some photo shoots for my social media pages. So, tomorrow, maglalabas po ako ng mga photo shoots ko sa isang photographer ko. So, it will be a good one. So, ayun yung three things that I really focus on. And also watching some pageants where I can improve. Uh, what can I do uh, in terms of walking, pasarela, or just in terms of overall being a good candidate here in MI. So, okay, so that sounds a lot. And dami mong ginagawa. Are you a student or you also have a day job? Uh, right now, I'm not enrolled since I really focus uh, my time here in MI. Uh, uh, for the job, I already resigned in my previous job in a BPO company. So I already resigned. So right now, I'm just truly focused on uh, just doing my best here in MI and just hoping that I can give you guys a great show. So. Okay, uh, trivia question. Um, kung papipiliin ka between your love life or title, anong pipiliin mo? Title, of course. The love life can wait. Because for me, if someone really, truly loves you, they will wait and they will like to see you succeed in life. Because if you succeed, they will also succeed. So, syempre, sino ba naman yung magkaka-love life ka pag naging successful ka, hindi mo din hihigit ang pataas. So, for me, I really want to focus on being a title holder or a title winner. San ka takot? Hindi ko mabigay ang best performance ko. Yun ang pinakakinakatakutan ko. And also spiders. Yun talaga. Pero, pero uh, kidding aside, just not giving my best performance sa uh, international or sa national stage ko. Kumbaga, hindi ko mabigyan yung uh, yung expectation ba hindi ko magawa. Kumbaga, yun yung isa sa pinakakinakatakot ko. But for me, I'm obsessed in training talaga na I can do my I can perform well. So for that talaga, uh, yung fear na yan, hindi ko muna ilalagay sa sarili ko kasi fear is just in your mind if you don't let it affect you, it will not affect you from uh, national stage of the 7 or 8 titles, kung papipiliin ka anong pipiliin mo? alam nyo na yun, it's Mr. International Philippines because I joined here uh, I want to win the, 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 the title of Mr. International, so that's my main goal, so even though I don't win it, there's a high chance that I can snag one of the prizes, so just just my mindset. I joined here not just to perform but also to win as well. Okay, give us a teaser of your national costume. The one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to be a and so you can I, I have uh, a lot of uh, pasabog in mind that how can I perform my uh, national costume on stage but for me it's going to be very interesting kasi that's uh, very ano siya hindi naman revealing but almost there so I hope you can uh, watch our that cost as well okay and why should you be the next king because for me I'm equipped with the capabilities of giving Philippines the best representation in the international stage which is being a leader, being having a great advocacy and being overall just uniting the people, uh, not just people but the people here in the Philippines as well. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.